Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Iraqi Dinar News Channel Exciting news regarding the Dinar has just been released, so make sure to subscribe to stay informed and leave a comment below. Iraq's recent efforts to diversify its economy and open its financial system to the world have been at the forefront of its economic strategy. The country, historically reliant on oil revenues, has recognized the necessity of a diversified economic base for sustainable growth and resilience against global market fluctuations. In recent weeks, there have been significant developments in this direction, with the Iraqi government taking concrete steps to implement reforms and projects focused on economic diversification. One of the key initiatives highlighted is the launch of the Development Road and the Al-4 Grand Port projects. These projects are part of a comprehensive plan aimed at improving infrastructure, stimulating trade, and attracting investment, all crucial elements for a diversified economy. The Development Road project is expected to enhance internal connectivity within Iraq and with neighboring countries, facilitating the movement of goods and people. Similarly, the Al-4 Grand Port is poised to become a significant maritime hub that could revolutionize Iraq's access to international markets. The international community, including the United States, has expressed support for Iraq's diversification efforts, recognizing the significance of these projects. This support is vital as it can lead to increased foreign investment and collaboration, further accelerating Iraq's economic transformation. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani has reaffirmed the government's commitment to these projects and the broader policy shift towards a diversified economy. This commitment signals Iraq's seriousness about reducing its reliance on oil and fostering a stable economic environment. However, transitioning to a diversified economy comes with challenges. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has projected a 4% inflation rate in Iraq for 2024, highlighting ongoing economic pressures that require careful management. Additionally, Iraqi lawmakers are pushing for amendments to banking laws to support the financial sector's development and integration into the global financial system. In conclusion, Iraq's intentions and initiatives for economic diversification are commendable but their success hinges on consistent implementation of reforms and the ability to attract foreign investment. The support of the international community is encouraging, yet Iraq must maintain momentum and address any legislative or regulatory hurdles that may arise. The coming months will be crucial in evaluating the effectiveness of Iraq's strategies and the tangible results they yield in terms of economic diversification and stability. I hope this explanation provides a clearer understanding of the financial reforms underway in Iraq. If you require further clarification on specific points or have additional questions, please feel free to let me know, and I'll be delighted to assist you further.